To Kiwis who grew up in an anti-nuclear country, it may seem odd to think that it's a New Zealander we have to thank for unleashing the most devastating power ever created by man. In 1910, Ernest Rutherford became the first man to split the atom, initiating a new epoch in human history from his modest rooms at Canterbury University in Christchurch. This is Rutherford's den. This is where he split the atom. And believe it or not, this is the actual atom that Rutherford... Rutherford's breakthrough has long been a source of pride for New Zealanders. However, according to some historians, the Nobel Prize winner should not take all the credit. A lot of the groundwork for Rutherford was laid down by a man called Percival Ward Smythe a young physicist from Dunedin. Ward Smythe was years ahead of Rutherford in terms of atomic research. He never actually split the atom, but he did manage to fracture it slightly, and this paved the way for Rutherford. Ward Smythe loosened it in much the same way someone loosens a jam jar, but it's the next person who actually opens it, so he missed all the glory.